I'm Madam Bomb Body. If you haven't already guessed, based off the title and the preview, today's video is going to be how to toggle OBS filters off and on instead of having to go into your sources, right click, hit properties. No one has time for that. Not you, not Bud, no one. Anyway, there's three methods that you can go about doing this. It just depends on exactly what you're hoping to do. And I'll make sure to timestamp them in the description below. I also want to note that these only work with OBS. Not slobs, but OBS Studio. Sorry, bud. Method one is going to be with scene nesting in OBS. So you're going to want to use this one if in your just chatting scene, you don't want the chroma key enabled. But once you switch over to a gameplay scene, it automatically applies the chroma key for you. Method two is going to be with touch portal. This is for if you want your viewers to be able to enable filter toggling off and on via channel points follows, subs, bits, whatever you want. I use this in combination with scene nesting for my awkward VR cam channel point redemption. Method three is going to be for those of you who use a stream deck. I suppose this one's going to be more hands-on because it does require the push of a button, but this might be useful for things like moving your camera around to different spots on your scene or being manually in control of your filters so that you can toggle them off and on when you want to. For all of these, I'm going to be using the chroma key filter as an example because it seems to be the one that's most commonly asked for, but you can literally use this for any of the other filters. Let's get started. In this method, I'm going to show you how to use scene nesting to change the chroma key filter depending on what scene you're in. So assuming that you already have a game scene and a just chatting scene, as you'll see for both, we've got a webcam as a source. So for your just chatting scene, you get to see your cool background. But when we flip over to the game scene, unfortunately, that background doesn't work very well for that. So in order to fix this, what we're going to do is add a new scene. We're going to name this one something like Chroma Key Cam. Hit OK. And then we're going to add that webcam to this scene. OK bigger here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hide this. We're going to add a new scene and that's going to be the chroma key cam. Now it's in this source that you're going to want to add the chroma key filter. So we're going to hit that, go to add chroma key, and then do what you need to do to make it look good. Obviously, you'll probably be able to do a better job than me, given more time. We're also going to crop this so you don't see any of the non-green edges. Maybe make it a little smaller and just shove it in the corner right there. So now, when you go back to your just chatting, that'll stay with your background. But when you switch over to game, it'll automatically be gone. Now, keep in mind, if you are using a green screen in combination with a just chatting scene, you probably will have to put on or set up your green screen between switching the scenes, but I figure this might be useful to somebody out there. Another method is letting your viewers control when to turn on and off your filters. In this example, we're going to let them use a chat command to turn off the chroma key filter for five seconds before it turns back on automatically. In a previous video, I show you what touch portal is and how to set that up, so you might want to check that one out first. For this to work in OBS, all you're going to need to do is make sure that you already have your webcam source set up and that you already have it set up with the chroma key filter. Now back in touch portal, we're going to click on a blank spot to create a new button. We're going to name this one something like awkward cam, then head over to on event, scroll down to the Twitch section. We're going to click on chat message event. I'm going to set mine to be for only subscribers, administrator, mods, staff, and me uh, able to be able to use this command. And we're going to set it so that when people use exclamation mark awkward, that's going to be the trigger for it. Now scroll back up to the OBS settings. We're going to click set source filter change it to make sure it's for your webcam source and specifically select the filter you want to use in our case chroma key since it should already be on we're going to select it to off i want to set a timer so that it'll be able to turn back on after a set amount of time so underneath logic click on wait for timer i'm going to set it to be five seconds 
Then we're going to go back to the OBS settings, set source filter, set source for webcam, chroma key, and turn it back on. And most importantly, make sure that you hit save. So now when I go into chat and type something like exclamation mark awkward, the filter turns off, it waits five seconds, and then it automatically turned back on. Method three is using your stream deck so that you can be able to toggle the chroma key or whatever filter on and off when you wish. By default, you don't actually get these options. So what you're going to want to do is go to more actions and you're going to want to make sure that you have the OBS tools plugin installed for your stream deck. Now you should have this extra option down here called OBS tools. We're going to expand that. There is an option here called filter toggle. So we're going to add a new button here. We're going to call this one chroma or just we're just going to call this one chroma because it's so big. The source name, these have to match exactly. So our source name is just simply webcam and the filter name is chroma key. So again, this has to match exactly. Now, when we push the button on our stream deck, it will toggle off and on automatically. Let me know in the comments below what filters you plan on using these with. OBS has so many different options and I always love hearing new ideas. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask or come hang out on my Twitch channel. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific. I also do more VR and OBS Studio tutorials on my Patreon over at patreon.com slash atombombbody. And since you're at it, why not join the Discord? I will post a link in that in the description below as well. As always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.